Hey guys, I want to make a quick video show you how to know if your battery is dead and just needs a charge or if it's actually a bad battery. So what I got here is a trolling motor battery that came out of the boat. Originally the problem was it was uh, we had a broken cable on the battery charger so this thing was not getting recharged and eventually that led to the failure of the battery. So this one, it's been put on the charger multiple times now and brought back up and you'll still get it up to, you know, you can see on there. You'll still get it up to 12. This one's a little below there now, but that's why you need something like this, just a load tester. And you get this at an automotive store. Or I'll link to it on uh, Amazon. You can find them too. I'll put that in the description, but this is the best way to know if your battery just needs to be charged or if it's actually dead. So if you do have a dead battery, you do need to get it charged up to really know. Try and put it on a charger and see, you know, let it charge and see how it acts. But once you got it charged up, these just work by, you'll be able to see, you just hit this button here once you have it hooked up. And you can see it go down into bad. If you got a good battery, you're gonna be up, you know, 12 and a half volts, 13 volts, just sitting here and then you'll charge it, you'll hit the button and you'll go down and it should stay in this good area when you hit that button. All this does is this heats this coil up and puts a draw on this battery. So once you get that battery, Try to charge it back up and get that load tester on there and see if it's just like a surface charge they call it or if it actually needs to be replaced. And then check too when you bought it, a lot of places have a pretty good warranty on batteries. Not so much marine batteries, but in your car, your truck, you know, I just replaced the battery in my truck, had a three year warranty and I got a new one for free. So make sure that's working. And then also you can check, you know, if it's in your car or truck, if you have a multimeter, or you can even use that if you had to. You know, put that on the battery and make sure you're up, you know, 13 and a half volts, sometimes 14. Make sure your alternator is working and charging. And that's not the reason why your battery is failing. So, hope this helps out, guys. Appreciate it.